Today's sponsor is the Thanos DayZ servers. You can easily locate Thanos servers in your launcher by typing TS1 or TS2 or TS3 and so on as more of their servers come online. Links to their website, Discord, and social media pages are in the description below as well. If you're looking for a well-balanced DayZ server with weekly events, then be sure to check them out. Hello my fellow DayZers and welcome to the channel. As you can see, we're nearing completion on our Tier 1 base build. But there's a couple essential items that I wanted to go over with you that I think you should, will need when building a base. So we're going to go inside here and show you a couple things. So the first one is super easy. It's a wood storage. And to make it, I'm just going to grab your planks, grab some nails, which of course I know I left some in here somewhere. We'll go find some tucked away in one of these walls. There we go. Alright, so with ten planks in hand, we're going to combine it with some nails. And you'll see it'll say uh, the recipes a uh, craft wooden crate, craft armor rack kit, and craft wood storage, which is what we want. And uh, this, I believe, is essential to building a base, and especially if you're going to be building a base with a team. It'll be a place where the person cutting wood can easily drop the wood, and then whoever's building can easily locate it and find it. It helps centralize and organize everything. So, we're going to take this wood storage in hand, and we're going to drop it over here against this wall here. just like so. Now looking at our um, proximity here, let's close up these, our wood storage here. You can hold 12 logs, a ton of planks, a ton of nails, and also some cooking items. And so this is a really great item to have in your base. Uh, moving on, when you're building a base, if you don't want to buy all the kits, and you want to make them yourself, you can do that by purchasing this workbench at uh, a safe zone trader. We're going to go ahead and place this guy over here. And then once you place the workbench, you'll see it'll have the option to attach these crafting blueprints. And then you can also combine it uh, with the resources that you need. And this is what you'll need to create those kits. And we're going to go over that in another episode. We can make a whole episode about that alone. Next item that is essential is a tool bench. Now I picked up one of these tool bench gray kits. And we're going to set this over here. And this is a great place for us to... Uh, put all of our tools. We've got a spot for our saws, our hatchets, hammers, axe, pickaxe, and shovels, as well as our small tools, pliers, and screwdrivers. And it's got 50 storage down here. And this will help keep you organized so that, uh, lo and behold, you don't misplace your hammer or any other items while you're trying to build. And next, we're going to go upstairs here to one of our rooms. And in here, we're going to make this uh, one of our little loot rooms here. Now, there's two different types of military lockers. And I'm going to go over with these because I, I believe they're vitally important to a good base. So, I'm trying to put down this locker here. What is going on? There we go. All right. Let's tuck this away in the corner here. So we have the four-door military style locker. And then we also have this other locker kit. Now, I personally prefer the four-door military locker. But others do also prefer this one. That's not exactly straight. We'll fix that later. So with the military, the four-door military locker, you actually have to open it up to get access to it. And as you can see with the military locker, it can hold quite a few guns, quite a few handguns, 
and then a full kit and I believe this is this is your best option get your best bang for your buck with this so now with the military locker the standard military locker Let's close some of this stuff up so we can get to it. There it is. So you can hold grenades in this one, far less pistols and a few less rifles, ammo boxes, and again a full kit out with 60 storage. So those are two um, locker kits, and those are the kits that I believe are vitally important to a base. You're also going to want to get a safe uh, to lock up your secure items. Now, I didn't have room for it. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn one in here. And there's a couple different types of safe. you got a large safe, a mini safe, and a medium safe. I'm going to go ahead and get us a large safe for this base. Now, the size of the, the safe is going to determine how difficult it is to blow into, whether it requires two to three to four explosives. I'm sorry, I think it's one, two, and three explosives. Now, each server is different with that respect, so make sure you, you check out and find out uh, what uh, it requires to do raiding on your server. And it's getting a little too dark here, so let's fix that. <laughs> oh, sorry about the bright flash. Nice thing about these safes, too, is you can set a code for them. So we're going to go ahead and set this code to 1234. For whoever inherits this base, they can easily change that. So, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. We're nearing the end of this series, and we are going to be giving this away, this base away, in a later uh, video.